Yes, as Steve suggests, welcome to yet another big Yorkshire Derby battle. Not at Otso, but here at Valley Parade. Now the temporary home of the Bulls as they await the building of a new 26,000 all-seater stadium. And uh, a good crowd, as you might expect, from the two best-supported crowds in Rugby League and the Bradford fans in jubilant mood after their success against Newcastle Knights in the World Club Challenge. And uh, a lot of uh, Leeds fans made the short trip from... Uh, Heading late to add to what is a terrific atmosphere. Bulls coached by a noble relies on the squad that dashed Newcastle Knight talks in that World Club Challenge. Look out for new wing sensation Leslie Vinicolo. 17 stones but blessed with extraordinary pace. And with Henry Paul's departure, brother Robbie taking over the standoff role. Behind a pack of forwards which with Lowe's and Paul showing top form is as strong as ever, and in Joe Vanganer and Brian McDermott, as big as ever. Leeds coach Darrell Powell's days of indecision are over. Finally, he opts for Ryan Sheridan at scrum half, and will start his half-back rival Rob Burrow from the substitute bench. New Aussie standoff signing Ben Walker, hoping to continue his prolific point scoring. But success will depend on the ability of Barry McDermott, Matt Adamson and company to contain that ball six. And both teams, as ever, strong on the subs bench. Paul Anderson and Stuart Fielder will be expected to make their customary impact. And Leeds coach Darrell Powell expects a lot from Willie Poaching and Wayne McDonald. Pitch in very, very good uh, condition and a little earlier... Richard Duckingfield had a word with the two coaches and first he spoke to Bulls boss, Brian Noble. Brian, as far as the Bulls are concerned, this is the one missing big trophy. The appetite to win it must be huge. The desire there, the staff good, because um, they usually get carried away sometimes, but their feet are firmly on the ground and, you know, there's a lot of focus in the camp this week. But we need to be good because the opposition are really good today. There are, of course, some key new faces in the Rhino side. It could just be a handful, couldn't they? Oh, if they let these players play, they'll embarrass you. It's simple as that. You know, they've been top performers for people that they're recruiting in, in different teams. And Darrell's got them gelled, as I'm sure he has. And uh, we're in for a tough day at the office. Be comfortable with being the hot favourites, though. I wouldn't say we're hot favourites. Uh, I'm never comfortable with that tag um, because Leeds are a very good outfit. They've got a few demons to lay in respect to some of the performances last year. But the side is littered with internationals and very, very good players. So we have to be good today to win. A KG, Brian Noble, being very complimentary to the lead side, and Richard also had a word with the Rhinos coach, Darrell Powell. Darrell, against the World Club champions, this is a very tall order so early in the competition, isn't it? Well, of course, they're the pinnacle of, of our game at the moment. Mm. Uh, congratulations to them for winning the uh, World Club challenge last week, but uh, we're up for it today. You know, we know it's going to be a tough challenge, but we've got the players and we've got the spirit within the camp to, uh, to come out here and give them a real tough prospect today. So often in recent years, though, Leeds look very good on paper but fail to live up to the expectations. You have to change that, don't you? Yeah, well, there's no point looking in the past, is there? We're about the present now, and we're about making sure that we come out here today and compete, compete very strongly. And uh, we're in the right frame of mind to come out here and do just that. Well, Darrell Powell says his team are in the right frame of mind to do just that. And I can't remember, Jonathan, when a Leeds team were 20 to 1 at such big odds to win the Challenge Cup. You know, it's, 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 it's difficult to understand those odds, but when you look at the Bradford team on paper, I honestly think this is the biggest rugby league team I've ever seen. If you look at the wingers, you know, in uh, Vicona and Van Vanicola, they are huge, and they will take, you know, the ball down the middle and take the workload off the forwards. And just look at their bench, Price, Costin, Field and Anderson. So it is a big ask, but uh, interesting to see that they put Adrian Bowles in the centre. He's a ferocious tackler, and they try and maybe match him physically. Terrific uh, welcome from the Bulls fans for what Jonathan describes as the biggest side in rugby league. And uh, Tavita Vicona there, one of the uh, 16 stone wingmen. There's Leslie Vinicolo, just under 17 stone. And Paul Anderson, the big 19 stone prop, just going across the, the pitch there. Bradford, five times winners of this uh, Challenge Cup. And Robbie Paul now in the absence of brother Henry very very much the leading light in midfield a lot of uh, stress on that lad four cup final appearances and another man there with four cup final appearances 
Francis Cummins, the Leeds uh, skipper. Once the youngest man at 17 ever to play in a Wembley Challenge Cup final. The time for nerves, but a lot of experienced players. And very shortly before uh, kickoff, Russell Smith will blow his whistle for a minute's silence in memory of Her Royal Highness Princess Margaret, who passed away in the early hours of this morning. Would you please stand and observe one minute's silence in respect of Her Royal Highness, Prince Margaret, who sadly died this morning. oozing confidence after his two tries in the World Club Challenge last week. And Francis Cummins starting his 110th consecutive game for Leeds. There's a very, very strong wind blowing from left to right of our screen. And Leeds will have that advantage in the first half. A very co compact ground, uh, Jonathan. Yeah, lovely arena. Uh, the surface is extremely uh, good condition considering the, the weather that we've had. And uh, it might cut up a little bit, but I expect uh, a very quick game. Ben uh, Walker, a man whom no doubt the Bradford Bulls coach, uh, Brian Noble, will have very, very much in his plans. And so, the second Kellogg's Newtree Green Challenge Cup of the afternoon, the fourth round between Bradford Bulls there in the uh, black, yellow and red against Leeds in the yellow and blue. Paul Deacon with the kickoff. And well taken by number 12, Matt Adamson, one of the five new signings for uh, Leeds this season from the Penrith uh, Panthers. But an old stager there, Darren Fleary. Not much between these two sides in the, the Challenge Cup. And a very, very strong wind blowing, uh, Jonathan. Yeah, extremely strong, extremely difficult uh, to judge the kicks in with the wind. You don't want to go dead, but there's a lot of 40-20 uh, kicks available. Leeds just uh, testing out. Viney Kulo. Perhaps a little short of uh, match fitness. He was out for many months with a shoulder injury. Only had a couple of games in the... A couple of friendlies in the Bradford jersey. No shortage of fitness from that man number six, though. Michael Withers. Leeds moving up very well. Bradford will like to get this pack on a roll. Interference. Yeah, disappointing ill discipline. Barry McDermott getting a foot in there on the way back. And after a good kick and chase, pressure is off. Bradford, first touch of the ball again. James Lowe's with the Brian McDermott, 10 years in a Bradford jersey. Starts his testimonial next week. Deacon. Mike Forshaw was in uh, excellent form against the Newcastle Knights. Typical ploy there, notice Lee's putting Forshaw on his back. It delays the play. 
it allows Leeds to get back that 10 metres should have been picked up Joe Vangana powerful run there from the Kiwi Jonathan yeah they're such a big pack and uh, you know, they just keep on coming forward they've got to match them and we've got a bit of trouble there off the camera James Lowe's is in I think I saw uh, Barry McDermott well people said it would be rough and tough it is a, a big Yorkshire derby I think Lowe's and, uh, and Barry know each other quite well doesn't want to take a backward step, Barry. No, I didn't. I didn't. All I saw them were holding on to each other and doing handbags. Yeah, OK. And everything broke off and... Catch this, please. It's a nice expression. They're doing handbags. Right. shot of Walker but the incident happened just off left of the camera Barry McDermott and Jimmy Lowe's a good lengthy explanation there from Russell Smith always can play down but that here we see yeah any tackle above the shoulder is high yeah poor kick they've, you know they've got the wind behind them they've got to make use of it poor shot Holding down with the elbow. The tackle's made, he's holding down. There's the arm across the face, bowed, reacts, and he's given the penalty away. I think what we're seeing here from Leeds, uh, Jonathan, is, is trying to stop this big Bradford pack, getting the quick play of the balls and getting on a roll in early stages. Yeah, they've got a match and they can't take a backward step because, you know, we've seen it before, they just run over the top of you, and if they get behind you, they've got great balance side with uh, Paul and Deacon, great support and Withers of course is a superb finisher so it's a tremendously well balanced side a lot of uh, pressure on this young lad Paul Deacon Henry Paul last season scored 475 points for the club young Deacon stepping in his boots but just look at the power of that win Jonathan it just didn't carry did it yeah, I was quite surprised he went for goal because the wind is exceptionally strong and uh, would have given him good field position. Good see you. Good move down the blind side there from uh, Kevin Sintry and catching Bradford offside. Leeds played uh, three pre-season friendlies, two wins against Catherine and Wakefield and uh, a loss against Witness in South Africa and I'm sure Darrell Power will want this pack to do better than they did against Widnick clear it Sheridan this boy Matt Adamson 6 foot 5 good ball McDermott Adamson again that's good tackling Diskin, Walker, good running, Sheridan off there. St. Fields, oh, good angle. Hey, coming in at a good angle there, but well watched there by Gartner. Sheridan again, here's a chance. Oh, now then. Has Walker got it down? We'll have to look at the video. But Walker was in there, he's jumping up and down. I think he got the grounding right, he just want to see if he's offside. It's a great set of sticks, he's trying to get the ball to Adamson, he's great, but look at this. There's the grubber. He looks onside. He looks onside to me, yeah, and then he goes and he gets the grounding. That's great pace, lovely weight on the kick. Yep, he's on site, definitely on site. That's 
it's a lovely way to kick. Good communication between the half backs. No problem. <laughs> the Leeds fans are already jumping up in the air. Ben Walker, prolific point scorer down under with the Northern Eagles. And picked up 28 points against Catherine Friendly. There's another four. That's a superb start for Walker. You know, coming in fifth under pressure, filling the boot of Yesin Harris. That's a superb way to start his career at Leeds. Well, a lot of people this week were wondering how he would fare in these conditions. But he has played here before. Going with the timing of the run as well. He just w waited and waited and waited and then hit it for the kick was special. Yeah. As I said, he's had experience of English conditions with the London Broncos a few years ago. And here he is with another two points for Leeds then. In the lead. Six points to nil. What a start for Ben Walker. Walker did. Terrific anticipation from Walker, because let's not forget, Jonathan, this is a soccer ground, there's a crowd on it, and it's very, very flat. It's much shorter grass than a rugby league ground. Yeah, it's a fast, it's got, you know, good bounce on the ball, and you've just got to, you know, wait, the weight is the, is the thing you've got to do, you've got to get the weight to perfection. And uh, as usual, down on the pitch, we've got uh, Richard uh, Duffyfield. Any news there, Richard? Well, right, that uh, lead strike really shows there's nothing in the conditions here that's going to put a damper on this game, not yet anyway. A strong wind, it's a bit of a crosswind, but it's in Leeds' favour that there's been about two inches of rain in Bradford for the last couple of days. This pitch could cut up if there's any more rain in the game. Could make it more difficult. Been four battles between these two sides in the last uh, six seasons, and uh, Leeds have only won one, but they're going to have a good go at winning this with tackling like that. Bradford can't get away, that's a drop out under the post. Tremendous uh, defence. Well, the kick for Sheridan and the chase. Who makes the tackle? Sheridan makes the first tackle, they'll get him to stumble. And there's good fall of support, and Walker's there again, unbowed. With a senior, that's all your seniors. Well, look at this, there's, um, there's Walker chasing up there, and here's the kicker. Sheridan just gets his ankle from him. And the chase is too poor. They, they keep him in goal and now they get the ball back. There's Siskis and then it's his senior that comes in and stops him coming out. Probably a difference of five stone there between uh, Sheridan and uh, Viney Cola, but he did well going around the ankles, didn't he? Stopped it. Leads there. On the attack, leading by six points to nil. Harry McDermott had an excellent uh, outing in the Ashes series back there in November. Sheridan. Here, looking for a couple of long passes, I think. They are. Good ball. Oh, that's a good tackle. Terrific tackle there from uh, Lee Gilmore on Val. Matt Adamson. Stay on. Clear it. On the fifth tackle. Walker again. Well done. Well. Yeah, good chase. Deacon was under the pressure on him. So was Foshaw. I think this um, Matt Adamson will be a good asset for Leeds. He's a tremendous ball carrier. Gives him pace. And he's great at offloading as well. Leeds not allowing this Bradford pack to get moving, are they? They're coming in very, very quickly. They're right on the 10. That's the sort of power that uh, Bradford can do if you let them go. Yeah, Vandas has two runs already. You've got to go and meet them. You can't wait for them to come to you. Because the momentum will get all the tackle. Good ball by Gilmore. Oh, should he have given it? He's given it now and he's given it to the wrong man. There was a chance out wide with Viney Colo. He was free. He'd 40 metres to go, but he can run. But it's Leeds now. Back on the attack. Andy Hay. Completely 
he stopped in fact even sunshine coming out here now better condition yeah Lee Gilmore did well to get out of the tackle stepped out of the tackle but should have released by Nicolo on the wing he had the opportunity and that was a wasted try scoring chance clear it a lot of uh, indecision from Daryl Powell between Sheridan and Rob Bullers but here we see Sheridan he's an organizer he's a team player seems to settle leads down in this opening uh, half hour and then he tends to bring the young uh, dynamic individual brother on Kingfield well taken by Danny Colo well he can't run away like that once he's caught the ball in the in goal area in a standing position it's a tap on the 20 meter yeah, Russell Smith is with so well and everyone knew the reaction of the, of the lead de defenders knew the whistle had gone that would have tested his match fitness right from his in goal area <laughs> it certainly would it's a superb take yeah see Tanella just goes oh look at that he knows the whistle's gone yeah it's the pace of the game is incredible only 12 minutes gone very early there's you know first Serious game for Leeds in this season, only the second of Bradford. These boys aren't going to tell you in the last 10 minutes of each half. Uh, Richard? Yeah. Expect to see the formidable presence of Paul Anderson in the Bulls side very shortly. He's been getting a lecture from Carl Harrison, the assistant coach. Obviously, he's going to join the action pretty soon. Both of these uh, coaches will be rotating the substitutions around. Just six substitutions, six interchanges on the four substitutes not the international rules of 12 as we saw in the Ashes series back to the domestic game thank goodness too with these substitutes Deacon really a shortage of runners there after Paul Deacon good defence of wide senior sent it up quick Robbie Paul Leeds forcing the Bradford sideways. Jamie Peacock. James Lowe's with a little little kick. Well, I've seen that come off a time or two, but not this time. Well read there by Leeds. Well, I thought that uh, Lowe, he kicked it into his own player there. I'm not sure, but I felt that he kicked it into his own player. Well, it's a little claw he has. He just tries to put it around the acting half back Jonathan I've seen him pick up two or three tries with it he's very talented hook there <laughs> great variety comes to Diskin he signed a new four year contract for Reading there Sheridan keeping the pressure on Michael Withers this number six one of the big successes for the Bradford Bulls last season, 32 tries from the, the full-back position. And again, lying on at the tackle. Walker comes in, slows him down. Look at the left arm. The left arm is in there, just holding him down. Holding the hand on the ball, that's a penalty. And it's a shame because the kick was very good. I think that's significant, Paul Deacon electing not to kick to touch, such is the force of that wind across this pitch. Especially where they were, they were in centre field and would have been a difficult kick for, for Deacon to get into the touch. I would think the uh, Bradford uh, coach, Brian Noble, will certainly want some points this half. Lowe's, Gartner, going around there by the the Aussie again another from the Northern Eagles side Bradford now on the move they've got men over on that right hand side for sure Robbie Paul can he get it across has he gone forward did he come off the uh, Leeds player by corner well he thought he'd scored a forward pass I'd like to see did he come off a Leeds player well the call came from the touch judge the ball went went uh, forward no whether it came off the Here's the play that holds it, senior goes in and this is the pass. No, it didn't come off. It didn't come off the Leeds player. And he goes shape off. Yeah. Shape off it goes in. Doesn't get doesn't get a touch on it. Definitely forward and good communication.
between the officials. Yeah, the touch judge never moved from the, the spot, no hesitation, good decision. Uh, Rhinos international winger Carl Pratt sidelined with a shoulder injury. Carl, this is a very bright, a very confident start by the Rhinos, isn't it? Uh, yeah, we've been confident, you know, ever since the draw were made that we could come here and get a result, you know, quietly, but we've trained really well and the lads have proven that now at the moment. You've always got to stop there, you've got to stop the bulls actually rolling over and getting into it. Yeah, that's it. We knew that if we could control their uh, ruck area in the first 20 minutes, you know, we'd be with a big shower at the end, so hopefully we can continue with you know, the good work at the moment and, you know, we'll get the result, hopefully. Thanks, Carl. Right, yeah. Not the best of kicks there from uh, Bradford going uh, dead. That is a good kick there from Kevin Sinfield. It's a terrific kick. Catching the wind, the cross field. Six thousand errors already more from Bradford. But it's all leads. Five metres now from this uh, Bradford line. Clear it. lurking out wide good play by the, the lead second row he, he saw a gap there but it was good tackling by Gilmore Bowles Sheridan again to Walker Sinfi good ball inside to here again always oh, dangerous coming in at that angle on the fifth tackle Sheridan, 
Another of those little grubbies. Oh, well picked up. Good anticipation there by McDermott. But again, Leeds, simple but effective. Poor restart by Deacon. Misjudged the win. And then, you know, good attack by Leeds. That's a tremendous drive for corner. Eight points to nil, just 21 minutes gone, but of course Bradford's turn with the wind in the second half. Yeah, the thing with the wind is, uh, you know, very advantageous, but you've got to judge it. Sometimes, how often do you see it? The, the kickers of the ball kicking dead. The weight of the kicking has been, been very good, especially by Sheridan. Yeah, he could have got out of the way there, just got their hands up. And a couple of uh, substitutions look to be uh, being made. Robert. Robert. Well, Russell Smith wants a word. Okay, we're settling down into a big game. I know that now, but we've been in it long enough to relax now and stop the little petty penalties. We've got to clear the rock up. Let's have the 10 metres. We want some continuity in this game now. Let's, let's avoid sim binning. Let's get some continuity to it. I think Russell Smith just losing his patience there around the, the rock area, especially with the Lions on at the play the ball. Stuart Fielding and Paul Anderson both coming uh, on the pitch. Two very, very strong uh, substitutes. Played a lot of games for Bradford uh, last year, but only started in three matches. They're both impact players. Can they make the impact now? Robbie Paul. Eight metres from that Leeds line. Lowe's. Paul Anderson. Lowe's again. Ooh, that looks a little high. He's lost the ball. And it wouldn't surprise me if there's a little temper gone down there. Watch this to you. Look, Barry Mack and Jimmy Lowe's were fighting about ten minutes ago. Now they're having a good chit chat. But look at this tackle. Barry Mack goes up. Yeah, he's definitely on the arm first. Yeah. My apologies to Barry Mack. Tries to offload the ball. Loses it. Leeds are playing a very much simpler game there, Jonathan, aren't they? Bradford are trying to push the ball. Yeah, like you said, the defence of Leeds is working well. It's, I think it's like stifling the, the, the Bradford forwards. They're, not, they're used to going over the advantage line, getting a good flat ball, and it's not happening, and that's good play by Leeds. Bradford haven't come into the game yet. A seventh cup meeting in nine years between these two sides. Three wins each so far. Oh, and Viney Colo going back very slowly. Picked up well there by Adamson. Now then, can Leeds get on a roll here? Please kick the ball on to let the hand over. Did Viney Colo have a touch? Well, he certainly went back very slowly for that. Very casually. There he goes. He goes back. He's too slow. And maybe he didn't play at it. I think uh, he was very fortunate. He stepped over the ball, and the ball was the kicked way. into him. Anderson. This newly designed Leeds pack certainly countering the uh, the Bradford six at the moment. Lowe's. Peacock. Good ball out wide there. Paul. Scott Naylor, forced inside there by that sliding defence, Deacon, I think it will be uh, too far, it is, again, not bad organisation, the, 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 wind, the, the wind is really swift, basically I thought that Deacon would hold that up and just hang it, and the wind would hold it back, but just took it over the, the dead ball area again. <laughs> Wayne McDonald, another new signing from uh, St. Helens, six foot seven. Is I don't think I've ever seen a rugby league game with such tall players. Six foot five, Adamson, six foot seven. Um, this lad here, six foot four, and, uh, you know, it's almost rugby union style, isn't it? Yeah, it's just, you know, they're just getting bigger. You know, the heights get also massive, huge now. He's glad you retired. 
It's very much uh, possible to me. Paul. Deacon. Good running and good tackling by Nicolo. Having a go himself. Shrugs off Cleary. Looks for support. Good run there from the Athene halfback position. Drags in two or three Leeds defenders. The space is out wide. Lowe's. Peacock is in. Gardner it is. Daniel Gardner is in on the right side. Russell Smith just consulting, but he's given a try. Tremendous anticipation there from James Lowe's. Yeah, they're back in the game, Gardner. Been hilarious, so injured. But this is a missed tackle, Bowes, one-on-one, pushes him off, spins up, but that's a poor tackle, Adrian Bowes. We know there's a good defender, look, he goes high, he gets the twist in, just pulls away, he should have just gone in with a shoulder, he used his arm. For one minute, I didn't think there was sufficient room. No, there's a tackle, Sinhala is down there, quick play to go, and here goes Van Nicolo, takes it in, can't get it down, goes to ground. And look at Bowes, he's looking wrong, he's pushing to the right hand side. That's a slow play, the ball really, they've got him on his back, but St. Hilaire is injured. Seeing that, the tackle should have been made, you won't be happy with that, Adrian Bowes. Daniel Gardner, who picked a try in the match against the Newcastle Knights. And Paul Deacon, who again against the Aussie champions, had a wonderful evening. Eight goals and a drop goal. But once again, that win taking the ball away from the target. Yeah, it's going to be very difficult to kick against this win, especially conversion. But at least some points on the board for Bradford, who will have the advantage in the final 40 minutes. Yep. Again, nothing on. Jimmy Lowe spots it. Gartner, the big lad. The first ball just misses, misses Gilmore out. And that's nothing but a bad tackle. Good technique to spin out for a poor tackle. I just thought for one minute that there was not sufficient room down that left-hand side, but Lowe judged it perfectly, didn't he? Yeah, they had the extra man, he just missed him up anymore, but uh, this man did accept you had to spin and stay in field. Retrieving the mistake there by McDermott, only a short sit down on that substitute bench. He's back on. Anderson relishing the action now. And before Scott Naylor, notice how he has to keep coming inside. Three or four leads defenders flooding across to that uh, touchline, forcing him back inside. <laughs> Sure did well to get back. Yes, get the ball at the back, then uh, nobody was aware of it. On the fifth tackle, Deacon. That's a very, very good kick. Pressure on Cummings. Yeah, Darren Clear of the Rhinos is uh, a blood binning. He's got a busted nose. Uh, not serious, take a while to repair. But uh, there's a novel way of keeping supple while you're on the bench. Uh, the Bulls' Joe Vanganar has his own uh, exercise bicycle that he's pedalling away here, uh, ready for when he gets back on. Although uh, we noticed that he has got it set on downhill, so it's not too vigorous. Leads then in possession, leading eight points to four, coming up to the half hour. Well, Jonathan, I must confess, I've seen a lot in rugby league, but I've never seen anything like that. Yeah, it's come from Australia. I was talking to uh, Tommy Martin before the game, it's, uh, just as a, as a warm-up, but uh, I'm not so sure about that. Well, I don't know. We've got bicycles on the touchline. I understand London Broncos came home in, uh, in tights from uh, Canberra Raiders. That's science. So they tell me. But back to the action. My corner. Tiny Colo. Shrugs off a couple of tacklers. By corner again. Good play by these two big, strong wingmen. 
Again, fully 35 metres for the ball. Horshaw in determined mood now. I just sense that Bradford are just raising the game a little. Lowe's. Well, it's something there by McDonald. Deacon. Good play, Diskin. Deflection and he was aware. That could be cup winners over Leeds by 24-18 at Murrayfield back there in uh, 2000. And that just shows you who's to put the work in. Matt Adamson, the new signing. It's a big ten min uh, nine minutes coming up. It's, as I said, early in the season, competitive game, and it's going to take a lot out of these boys. It's a, it's a lot to win this game. And a rush at that point. Well, Russell Smith has indicated a spear tackle almost. Uh, just twisting, doesn't get his hands between his legs, but that was dangerous. Did turn him, did twist him. Yeah, very dangerous tackle. As I said, big ten, big nine minutes coming up. You know, the boys, it's all right doing your pre-season training, but it's match fitness and they'll take it out of them. Clear it. Both sides have been away for warm weather training. Leads to South Africa and uh, Bradford to the manga. But nothing like Max play. Santilla with a rare touch of the ball. Sheridan. McDonald. Leads are looking for more points before the half time here now again. Burrow on there. Well, he's so small, I never noticed him come on. Senior. Walker. Nice, nice little slip back. Burrow again. Oh, there's a chance. It's still anybody's Took ball. Down Touchdown. Touchdown. Go and drop out. Yeah, lovely little kick by Burrows. Again, the weight is, is superb. Withers gets back, just marks it down before Vowles comes in. There he is. Will he take a knock? I think he's okay. Seems to be a problem as to what's happened to the ball. There it is. Deacon. He wants to put a lot of uh, width between the leads and the try line. And he does. Francis Cummins. And a good chase by Bradford. Puts leads back in the own hole. Yeah, very good kick. Burrow with Walker again Walker in point out for rubber kick with us having to get back again I think uh, Walker's noticing by Nicolo he's slow on the turn Jonathan well look at the size on him you know. it's one thing going forward with the ball in hand being that size same thing you know with Naylor and Vicon on the other side but if you make them turn and you've got a good jump start on them it's a very good tactic but again it's a weight to the kick they had to minor it and now they, reach, they have the ball back <laughs> and there's Bowman as they call him trying to whip up these fans Andy Hay he jumps it <laughs> Pete Senior not had a lot to do down that uh, left hand side just coming up to five minutes remaining now in this uh, first half Cummins had to adjust and Walker Adamson stop 
through a lot of work as this uh, new boy, 29 years of age from the Penrith club. He picked up a try against Newcastle as well. Can he do that all? Did he lose it? He did. Don't come at me, that's a lost ball. I'll decide what it is. Not aggressive, that's all. Bergen, it's a superb step. Goes in between them. It's again, it's Withers with his knee just nudges the ball. Look at that step. Lee's Fortune for dead. Addison some good tackle. It's the right knee of Withers that dislodges the ball. Yeah. I think he tried to move it from underneath his armpit to the to the hand, and he just couldn't quite control it, could he? Superb play, no good. The spot, the gap, and the step. Try gone back. Certainly leads, not uh, phased out by the Bulls. Super League winners and World Club champions tag. They've really taken this game to the home side. Possibility of a good I'm not, I'm not strong good. kick to touch that. and a chance before oh. half time. Here's the steal of the burrows in there, small raw burrows. Oh, it's difficult to say from that angle, but uh, Mr. Smith is on the right side. There's one thing that'll be in that side, they, uh, you get used to it because the big boys will run over the top of you, try and run over the top of you. Paul Anderson. Now then, here are some of the big boys trying to run over the top. By Nicolo, they don't come much bigger. And he through bounds again. 15 meters from that leads line. Just a strong pitch to get the other ball up. Field. Second tackle. Second tackle. Eaton. Rugby ball. Not seen a lot of him in this half. That's a good ball. A wide now to my corner. <laughs> is it Scott Miller? I think it is just Scott Miller. It is. Peter, nail it again. Paul, but Bradford being forced back, being forced sideways by this quick moving Leeds defence. Hardly a chink of light there between the, the Leeds centres. It's good defence, they're coming up quickly out wide, stopping the ball being spread out there by the halfback. That's the fifth tackle, that's the sixth tackle. And over. <laughs> One thing you notice, Wither stands really up in the defensive light. If anyone could see where he was, kick over the top and a good chase. Well, I can't recognise that tune, but they're enjoying themselves. The, the lead band. defence from Leeds there. In the centre, two or three times he's not quite put his man down. And there is a man going down. Stuart Field and thanks to Keith Senior. Deacon. They've hustled and hurried on the lead. They've done a superb job. 
Just two tries in the first half, but I'm sure we're in for a lot more points in this 40 minutes as players must Let's tire from the lads. strength of that tackling. It's bound to sap the energy. Brian okay. Noble, mate. obviously very calm and controlled at, uh, at half-time. He'd have been making the points forcibly, what Bradford have been doing wrong, and I'm sure Darren Powell, well, he'd have been complimenting Leeds on the way that they've come out, really, to tackle these balls, and they've done it in fine fashion. Anderson. Lowe's using that to blind side again with the right four shot. But Sheridan getting through a lot of tackling around that to rook area. Two very good runs for two fielders. Tremendous runs. Deacon. Robbie Paul. But again, good spotting there by Keith Senior. He knew that uh, Withers likes to come in on that uh, on that pass out wide. Deacon, fifth tackle. Robbie Paul's been very good in the first half, hasn't he? And that's due to the, you know, the, the lack of penetration maybe by his forward. And the hit. Well, half-backs like to play behind uh, packs which are dominant. Senior. Wayne McDonald enjoying himself. Clearing. Murrow. Little kick with the toe. Good stretching there by these three defenders there. No way through for Viney Colo. They really have policed this uh, big man. Again, a lovely kick. And now they've got three kickers on the field. They've got Burrows on. And they've got Walker. And of course, they've got Sheridan. Right corner. He's been particularly effective at that uh, acting half-back position. Done some very, very good work this afternoon. Bulls now on the charge. Down that left-hand side. Fielding coming well on the burst there. Deacon. Oh. A difficult pass to take.
he has had some problems with a neck injury this week uh, Robbie Paul he was forced off the field against the Newcastle Knights last week could yeah. he be could he be suffering a little he must be you know he's, he's not making the tackle that he usually makes he's not in the play a lot so the neck injuries you tend to worry about that so it's, uh, it's been a tough week for him certainly not himself to be McDonald. If he were the lead forward, you know he'd try and target him and run at him to tire him out. Burrow. He's a darting, dodging little man. Reminds me of uh, Roger Millwall when he was about 17 or 18. Similar sort of play, dodging, darting, moving around the play. Here. Sinfield. Over to the Bulls crowd roaring for a forward pass, but I think he was uh, on that ball flat. Sinfield again looking for an inside runner. There wasn't one there. It's a well intended kick. And a knock on. I'm not sure if there, if there was a hand in here. It's good pressure once again. Look, there's a tackle. Is there a hand in there? Oh, he just grabs his right hand with us, doesn't he? The touch just didn't see it. That's a result for Leeds. Watch his right hand if you can look. Van pulls his right hand off the ball, doesn't he? Leeds working a nice blindside move. Senior, eight meters from that Bradford line, leading by eight points to four. Fleary charging in. Desperate tackling here now from the Bulls. You're knocked out, you're out. Knocked out. Ripping the ball out. Knocked out with the elbow, I think. Might not have been deliberate, but it's certainly by not rolling away. You go for goal, Ray, or do you go for the try? Yeah. Well, I go for goal. One can do it to try away, so I've got to breathe his good, especially where he's kicking. I honestly feel, uh, Jonathan, these days a lot of uh, rugby league clubs tend to take the tap penalty far too quickly without looking at the two points that's on opportunity. Especially with uh, you know, the quality of uh, you know, just the top four sides, the Graham's are very close and they've won by you know one or, one or two points. You've got to assess what's best for you. This is all about head down and just striking it, not worrying about the win. Just head down and follow through. I'll leave the goal kick into you. Huh? I never kicked. I never kicked one in 12 years. Put a few corner flags down, but not over the crossbar. What can Walker do here? Oof. Well, he hooked it, didn't he? To the left. So, still that same score line. Four points the difference. And again, the wind was strong against him. Tried to kick it too hard and just pulled it a little bit. There's the penalty. Feeling with his Get arm back. in there. Oh, harsh. I think it was more accidental. But I'm not the referee. Adamson. Been especially prominent this uh, former Aussie Test player. McDonald getting through a lot of work at first receiver. This is a much bigger pack than Leeds have had in recent seasons. Sinfield. 40 metres gained there in three tackles. Good play from Leeds. Burrow, Walker. Adamson again. Here he is, he's darting about, he's dodging about. Just a little harsh, but that was well intended. A little bit too ambitious there. He got himself out of trouble with a little kick. He ran out of uh, out of support, but a superb play. Look yeah. at the quick speed. Field is after him. And he's no slouch. Gets away from him. Gets into space. And realise I've got no support with me here. Except Vowles. He's so small, you could almost hang him up at the front of the coach as a mascot, couldn't you? I mean, he just darts about. 
I'm sure you'd be pleased with that, mate. <laughs> oh, he's, a, he's a great little player in the under-21s in uh, South Africa this last uh, season. If you're comparing to Roger Millward, he's got up something about it, because uh, Roger Miller is one of the greats. Bradford then, withstanding the... Well, I was just going to say withstanding the Leeds attack, but putting Leeds back on the attack. Paul Anderson. And no one knows more than him the mistake. And things going right for Bradford. That's still all down to pressure put on him by Leeds. So that was uh, an unforced error. But Leeds, I think, need to get some points on the board. Go Bradford back, aren't playing that well, and you can just feel they might click out. into it and get a couple of tries. So Leeds need to get on the score. Pete Senior. Great Britain uh, centre for the Sheffield Eagles. Uh, Start. Adamson again favouring that to right hand touchline. Hanging out there, very much similar to the work done by Chris Joint at St Helens. McDonald. Typical Leeds Bradford uh, Garvey. Very hard, very fierce. <laughs> well, the smallest man on the field runs into the biggest man on the field. There's just no way through for this uh, Bradford attack, is there? It really is an aggressive, compact defence from Leeds. Chase is very good. Just look at the number of Leeds players there around that rook area. By corner, the only one really making uh, headway there. There he is again. Lowe's. Well, that's a forward pass. Well, a little bit of a argy-bargy. Started out of nothing. Really a little frustration, I think, from Paul Anderson. Yeah, that's the second ball he's put down. He overrun it there. The pass isn't, isn't weighted very well, but that's a knock-on. But it was a forward pass anyway. I think Paul knew he'd overrun it, and I don't think he was too concerned when he, when he let go of the ball. I think the whistle had already gone, Jonathan. Yeah. But once again, with their oh, almost gale force winds sweeping into... Uh, Leeds faces, but Leeds are still Can holding in there. Eight points to four, half an hour remaining. Who will be in that draw on Monday night? Come on, come on, kid. That'd be two big clubs out after the day. Well, they certainly will. thinking to do for those two coaches I think especially in the use of the substitutes Brian Noble there he's still not used Price and Costin and really poaching to play a big part yet for Leeds it's nice to see two British coaches on the bench isn't it it is Sheridan Bowles dragged into touch Robbie Paul, I think, is, is injured. It doesn't look very good. The doctor's calling him on. He's injured something. Oh. He's taking a knock there. Yeah, it's a clash of heads. Whether that's jarred his neck once again, but it doesn't look very good. He looks in severe pain. I think what was interesting there, he immediately clutched around that neck area, not the head where he got the bang. Yeah, the reaction, you know wasn't good but he's he's moving his feet and that is always a good sign what is one bang Oof, that oh is that a bad right. clash and look at his reaction he holds it it's jarred something and if he was carding a neck in injury that wasn't wasn't nice another angle but it goes in what goes in and what's that in a boom but watch his reaction if you just stay on him watch it like look at his shoulder, shoulder. 
and his hand, you feel his hand, maybe it's what they call the stinger, where he just have a bang on the nerve in the shoulder, and it just deadens your arm. It looks a lot better now, and hopefully he's okay. Well, he was in magnificent form in the World Club Challenge, picked up two tries in the, in the first half. Yeah, I think uh, I think Jonathan might be absolutely right about that, uh, Robbie Paul. The suspicion on the Bulls bench is that uh, his aggravation, the trap nerve that was injured in the World Club Challenge, left hand side of his neck. He's obviously having great difficulty in uh, moving his head. Looks like a neck injury to me. It's trap nerve. And Leon Price really showing his form there, coming on at uh, standoff. Terrific run. Immediately puts Bradford on the attack. And at last, the thousands of the Bulls fans get behind their side. Again, another good young player coming strong in the game now. Leon Price. Bradford looking to get back on level terms. High corner, flicks it back inside. Knock on. Yeah, that ball certainly went back, I felt. Look, Anderson's behind him, and because Jimmy Lowe's thought, <laughs> as I did, he gave it, Russell Smith a bit of lift, and now it's uh, a penalty, so the pressure is relieved once again. A superb break from uh, Leon Price. I must confess, though, Jonathan, I think my corner would have been better taking the tackle, because, you know, they had all the pressure there, and they didn't have four tackles on the line. I think one-on-one on one by corner, they fan he fancied their chances against Chev Walker. But Chev Walker is not small. Well, Darrell Powell was telling me midweek he was very impressed with the Leon Price in that World Club Challenge. And uh, the youngster is on there at standoff now for Robbie Paul. Can he work the magic? But it still leads, moving forward, leading by eight points to four. Burrow. Hey, he's got to run through there, no, good tackle. Good covering there by Scott Naylor. On the fifth tackle, Sheridan. Going for the drop goal, he's got it. Russell Smith just checking with the two touch judges, but that's a timely drop goal. Leeds coming away with some points, much to the delight of that. Huge following there from Headingley. nothing on that tackle lovely strike and look no pressure put on him at all you've got to put pressure on the kicker yeah. time off please give me the mic mate please Obviously, captain please the ball incident that Danny. the touch you've just seen Danny. And Danny. referee Russell Smith wants a word with Francis Cummings Leon, come in here, please. You actually captured you. Hang on, mate. Listen carefully, please, Leon. We've allowed advantage to develop there. I saw Kevin Sinfield hit the ground. I didn't know how he hit the ground. The touch just, in his opinion, thought that you'd made late contact. Caught me off the ball, in his opinion, as well. We're putting it on report. I want no more trouble with it. OK, it's on report. Oh, look at that, off the tackle. Leon Price has come off, off the ball. He'll be sighted, and he won't be playing. Look at that, he won't be playing for a couple of weeks, I hope. Well, he'll certainly be dealt with by the disciplinary committee next week. He's on report, and you have that chance to answer. Leon Price. There is a top of screen. Boom, just off the ball. That's a, a left hook. Leon Price, you know, Leon is not a dirty player, but uh, something must have come into his head, and now he will have something to think about when the disability committee meet. We haven't had a try for half an hour here. Just that rock goal from Sheridan. Defence is on top. Sheridan again. These little grubber kicks. Keeping uh, Bradford on the back foot, making for a lot of work for these two wingmen, Vicorner and Vinicolo. Hey. 
Vangana. Good run from Joe Vangana. Obviously, that's uh, basically done the trick. Peacock. Yeah, there's been no try for 30 minutes now, and uh, it just shows the strength, you know, both these defences. Oh. Now then, was that a 40-20 kick? I yeah. just think he was inside the 40 mark. He was inside, look at that, you know, you can't see it from there. Pressure was on from Fleary. That's a superb kick, great use of the wind, and that just might be the incentive that uh, the Bradford needs. Sheb Walker has a great incentive. He knows he's in the, in the 20. That's uh, a superb kick. Five points the difference. A try and a goal here to Bradford. Would certainly stir up this game. On the attack, Leon Price. He looks sharp, gets it back to Winners. Winners going for that line. Good tackle. Adamson in there. James Lowe's. Leeds keeping a tight grip on Lowe's there. He likes to scamper away from the Latin halfback position. Price again. Coro's in there well. Comes off his wing. Good spot. Finally Coro. Just can't get in, but that was well worked. The big 17 stone wing. The ball flipped to him on the blind side. Terrific pressure on Leeds, Jonathan. Great tackle, Vowles. Just has enough impact on him to lock him over the touch. Then look, boom. Gets over, gets the big man into touch. Well, we criticised Adrian Vowles earlier in the match, but not the formerly the man of steel a couple of years ago and certainly steel shown in that tackle there that looked to try all the way for Viney Cola but it's Leeds back in possession still with that lead nine points to four Andy Hay and look for Withers is Michael Withers is five yards behind the the defensive line slowly dropping back but early tackles you know you pub kick and chase Barry McDermott back on the field strong kick though from Adamson Michael Withers and good chasing there by Adamson. Withers didn't didn't gain more than three or four meters. Again, Walker. He's leading the chase, doing well. Going nowhere. I don't think I've seen this uh, Bradford pack as ineffective around the rook area. They really are not making the ground. Ben Walker, second tackle, he's been very consistent with that all afternoon, Russell Smith, Jonathan. He has, he just had a second shot, look, the tackle is made there, bang, leave him go, but no, just the second drive, nudges him over, penalty. The discipline has been good by Leeds, but mm, as I said, they don't want to give, you know, a good attacking position by lack of discipline. And I don't think the fans can grumble, seven penalties conceded apiece, Vangana. This game isn't over by any means. Survival of the fittest. Stuart Fielding. Sinfield is struggling. He's the attack Sinfield. He's out of the game. He's got a bang on the jaw. He's on the right hand side. He's trying to come on the outside. He's got no on the left wing. Good cross move. Oh! Right four shot. Losing the ball, but the force of the tackle. There we see Kevin Sinfield. He's, he's got a bad knock. I think he made a tackle on uh, Joe Vangen and, uh, and the elbow caught him with a forearm. The tough character. He's had a couple of whacks in the face today. There he is, talented player. Determination there from Chev Walker. And equally from Keith Senior. Look at Withers there, look how short he is, number six, 
just up the screen. Someone's got to have a word and say, look, here's the bang, there's the elbow in the jaw. I think that's accidental, but still hurts. Tony Colo did well to get down though. They've targeted that big man all afternoon. They put the ball behind him. They've set it rolling over that in goal area. But he's been up to it. He's got down. Lovely kick. The weight is, is superb. The chase is good. Nothing Vanny Cola can do about that. Certainly a big attraction here at, uh, at Bradford. Leeds certainly employed a good uh, kicking game against this win, uh, Jonathan. Well, the kicking game's been very good by, uh, you know, in both halves by Leeds. Defending a lot better. They've used it, they've, used, they've played the, the, the six tackle extremely well. But, the, you know, the kick has been good. Burrow. These three midfield men, Burrow and Walker and Sheridan, dictating the furs in midfield. Three metres now from that Leeds line, Andy Hay, Sheridan again. On the fifth tackle, will we see another black goal? Walker's in position. No, that was a good chase by James Lowe's. Walker had a lot of room, but James Lowe's cut him down. Yeah, Good. that's the difference between uh, the first drop goal for Sherry and that one. You know, the chase was on and just pressurised him. That's Snapped it. at it. That's an interesting statistic, though, though, Jonathan. 17 tackles made by, by Ben Walker. That's good standoff there. Yes, you know, he's, he's leading the chase. The kicking has been good, but it's only as good as the chase. And uh, he's been leading most, uh, most kicks. Cheers. Whatever, a try and a goal would still Take win this away. match for Bradford. Nine points to four, the final quarter. Still the battle, will it be Leeds or Bradford in that uh, cup draw on uh, BBC Radio 5, half seven on Monday night? Leon Price. Good ball. Oh, nice ball inside too, to Forshaw. That was good running inside. Brandon Costin coming on, that's Huddersfield, there he is. Knock on. Yeah, knock on there. Costin just come on, knock on. And there uh, could be a problem uh, with Barry McDermott. He's taken a few couple of heavy bangs uh, to the head in the last couple of tackles. Uh, he was looking a bit groggy. It'd uh, be a shame if he had to come off at this point of the game. A lot of youngsters in this lead side coming of age here this afternoon. Sinfield, Walker, Calderwood, Burrow, all in the Great Britain coach, David Waits, emerging uh, squad. fifth tackle Burrow Sinfi looks to have recovered from that knock now and again another tester for Vani Colo Tiger is tackling there from Adrian Valls one of the hard men of the rugby league Deacon lost the ball again, or was it knocked down? Now he's lost it. I like the way this lead side, just look at them congratulating each other. There's a great spirit there, uh, Jonathan. There's a will to succeed. Yeah, look at it. He goes for the ball, gets the arm in there. It's kind of a one on one, but it's a knock on by Deacon as well. So this is a great opportunity now for Leeds to get on the, on the board. Just give him a little bit of breathing space, you know, with the clock running down. Just look at those errors made by Bradford. 15, you don't expect that in a season. Early in the season, isn't it? And they're going to make mistakes. Walker. Bradford defending desperately here. Burrow. Sheridan. Sinfield, good running on the inside there by 
Will he poach it? Try to bring runners in with him so they can move it back on that blind side again. Oh, that was well done. Here's a chance. Desperate defence there from Stuart Phelan, just holding him up. A metre from that Bradford line. Jerry then, Walker couldn't take it. Interesting tactic there though. The standoff right back, 15 metres back. Leeds throwing the ball back in defence, hoping that that Bradford side would rush out and create a space. Unfortunately, Walker there knocking on. Good, good tactics. Yeah, the half back Please trying to drag it. one of the forwards onto him, just a step. But, you know, I think they wanted the wrong gap there. Sheridan should have straightened it up a, a little bit and attacked the inside shoulder of, of Gartner. And then giving Walker the chance to come on a short ball on the outside. Bradford having to move this ball around now, looking for points. Withers, Scott Naylor. But always two and three leads tacklers in there. Deacon. We've not seen many runs from acting half back from James Laws this afternoon. I mean, usually he and, say, Kieran Cunning of St. Helens, two of the most prolific runners from acting half back. Yeah, just that one here. But I think, again, it, it's all about the platform that you get. James Laws is a clever footballer, and he does make the darting runs from half back when they've got momentum on. And again, they haven't had a lot of momentum in this game. Francis Cummins. Burrow. Just think if uh, the release get one more score, it might just take him away from Bradford because the defence is so good. Yeah, 17 runs from uh, Dummy Half there from uh, Bradford, but uh, Picono and uh, Pinecolo doing the bulk of those. But back to the attack. Jerry then. Now then, was that an attempt at drop goal or was it a long, <laughs> a long rubber kick? I think it's Get off quicker than set lead! Get off quicker! Not the best drop goal. <laughs> Almost 12,000 uh, people here. Uh, see the start of the road to Murrayfield for the Super League clubs. Tomorrow, the for the fourth rounds in this uh, Kellogg's Nutri-Grain Challenge Cup, including the three French teams, Green Nerves and Gordon and UTC. Lowe's, there's Lowe's now, that's good play, but that's not. Again, that's just what I was saying, once the, once the falls gave him momentum, Lowe's was away, creating space, and if he'd have caught that and straightened up, you know, there's a two-on-one. Look at the run. Great offload. Cotton gets the ball away. And if he straightens up there, Gilmore gives it by Nicola, it's a two-on-one. If you just want to see how many handling errors uh, Bradford have, have made in this game. Adrian! Quite a few. Take your ten up a bit, mate. Your ten's getting a bit short. Referee Russell Smith had a good... Uh, Rapport with the players, and there are the errors, uh, Jonathan. You were right. Yeah, fixing a lot of errors. Just curves momentum. But can Bradford regain that World Club challenge form when they swept away the Newcastle Knights? Certainly the talents there, a little out of sorts at the moment. But ten minutes remaining, a lot can happen in these ten minutes. What a great game, hasn't he, Matt Adams? Tremendous, Let's tremendous. And down on the bench, you just sense that there's a hint of frustration creeping into the Bulls' play. There's some stony faces on the bench. Jamie Peacock uh, wasn't at all happy about being brought off. 
the field a little earlier on and certainly without uh, assuming the result of this game Leeds have won the fitness battle they're in really tip-top condition it shows now Five. Five. on the fifth tackle Burrow again keeps that momentum going by corner picks it up and that's an obstruction holding back <laughs> he might well laugh the little man he knows he he may have got a penalty this is a silly silly error you know look at leon price is holding the furrows back russell smith had it waited for advantage didn't come he would be tempted to go for goal because it would take you away and that's it well it would mean bradford having to score twice jonathan wouldn't it yes and uh so they haven't created much I think it's frustration from the up price. I've never seen him like this before. No, no. Maybe not getting in the starting lineup. And it's all a part of growing up and being a professional player. You've got to keep your discipline, keep your head. You've got other things like this, turn matches. I'm sure once the discipline committee sees, you know, the earlier incident, he could be struggling to play in the next uh, couple of games. This is a very difficult kick then for yeah, Ben Walker. On, ben, He's got a very, very strong wind coming across from left to right it's a crosswind it's difficult to judge he's going to have to flight the ball i think towards that to right upright and hope it swings in am i right yeah i think he's got to aim it a little bit because the wind is so strong and he's got to get hit it quite solidly and just try and keep it a little bit low under the wind but i i think the the last one did hook to the left hand side so it's just a sweet strike 46 degree angle a difficult kick as i said earlier a man with an 85 percent success rate down under it's an important kick this could see leads through to the next round oh it's going it's over the roars are there the leads fans are dancing in the back they just look at the delight on that uh, terrace in there they were very much the underdogs, but look at this for a goal kick. Lovely strike. Didn't, the wind didn't divert it in any direction. It's a lovely kick. And now Bradford have to pick their game up. They need to score twice. 11 4. And that man has been the difference between the sides. And just look at how things are going wrong for Bradford. Not 10 metres. The idea was good, the execution was poor. Look, the short kick is there. And poor James Law is so frustrated, he knows he can't pick up that ball. So, a kick to Leeds. Just over seven minutes remaining here now. They've got to just kill the clock, Leeds, haven't they? That's all they've got to do. Hold possession. Lovely little kick in the in-goal area and then take the ball back. Burrow scampering around there. He's got space on the outside. <laughs> Dragged down there by Lee Gilmore. Willie Poaching. Sheridan. Barry McDermott back in the play. Sheridan. They were not expected to win 20 to 1 to win the Challenge Cup. And there's determination for you from a small man. It's his great play. Look, comes from left to right. Look who he runs at. Paul Deacon, the smallest man there, just runs at him. The three of them go in to try and take him out and just bounces out and goes over. What a shot. All smiles then in the Leeds camp. Ryan Sheridan. And do I detect a smile there from Mulrealy? Oh, I'm not sure about that. 
but it was a, a grimace, put it that Far way. Far too early in the season for a smile of Mal. <laughs> And uh, Ben Walker, he'll not be too bothered about what's happened to the ball. The time ticking away, and he'll have a breather. Walker and uh, Sheridan shared all the lead points at half back, and that has been the dominant area, hasn't it, uh, at half back? Yes, it's, you know, Robbie Paul must have been carrying injury. He wasn't at his best. In other words, Deacon, and uh, you know, they did gelled very well these two Walker and Sheridan the forwards have laid the platform and they have dominated the kicking game has been superb and the kicking game has, has, has been a big factor on this match Walker now kicking into the face of the wind with very good conditions on the foot another two points for the Aussie his fourth success of the afternoon and Leeds go out even further 17 points to four a convincing win here at the Valley Parade watch him comes from left to right spots Deacon attacks him three of them try and cover for Deacon and then you know he just goes over for the try great determination great run very late in the game you know fatigue everything in there but it's a superb try Five minutes remaining. What can Bradford do? Has the dream of the triple gone there? The Super League champions, they're the World Club champions, but looking to depart from the Challenge Cup at the fourth round. And a, a gloomy Brian Noble and uh, an assistant there, Bernard Dwyer. Wondering just what has gone wrong. The highs and lows of sport. Yep. A week ago, he was on the top. You just wonder how much did that game against Newcastle Knights take out of this Bradford side. But here they are on the attack. A try and a goal would soon bring them back. Gilmore. It is a big factor that World Club Championship. Bangana. It does take a lot out of you, you know, like the pressure that you, you put yourselves under. Probably the build-up. Deacon. Oh, nice ball from Deacon. Here's a chance. Oh, he was, <laughs> he was tempted to do a double movement with uh, Stuart Fielding. This is good play now from uh, Bradford. Naylor, good ball out there to Gardner. He's got two men outside here. Costin's going for the back. Oh, now then. Has he got that down? Did Walker or Costin hit the Stand flag? Up Stand it up, was please. Don't look at the screen for that, please. A Until gallant effort from Walker and certainly hit. from Costin. Don't look at the screen, please. Very close. The text judge said he hit the flag. Russell Smith has said, let's go to the fourth. It's a superb tackle and really a good finish. Does he get it down? No, I think. Look at his right arm. Look at his right arm. If you see the angle but of the post, watch, watch the post. But has he hit the flag? I think, I I think, think it's he's the other got it down. I think it's the other angle is the best. The other angle is better. Watch it, watch. Look, he's hit the flag. Run it back a little bit. Watch who goes first. Is it the arm? He hits Ooh. it there, I think. Ooh. It's a split second, isn't it? Split second. Look where the linesman is, though. <laughs> well, that's what a video uh, referee yeah. is all about. The ref, the, the touch judge, the right. said Dave. he was in hit the flag first. Yeah. Yep. Well, it's one of those wait and sees. It's all on the video referee, and here's the judgment. No try. That's one nil to me this year, Ray, okay? <laughs> <laughs> I think you were listening to the video rapidly. Right he was listening to me, I think. <laughs> Darren Cleary. Three minutes remaining. Leeds comfortably in the lead now. 17 points to four. McDermott. And all these Leeds forwards, they want this ball now. 
Sheridan, the man of the match. There he is, the Kellogg's Nutri Green man of the match, Ryan Sheridan. Certainly deserved, but I, you know, I thought that uh, Matt Adamson has had a huge game and he would have pushed him close. And Willie Porchinger leads out the luxury of a, of a fresh forward coming on in the last 20 minutes. Good use of the substitutes. Leeds quite content to keep the ball down there. Uh, with two minutes left. Look at that, Matt Adamson with 24 tackles, plus the runs he's made. Certainly a good buy. Very good buy. Well, 29 year old at the peak of his game. Leeds just wanting to contain Bradford now deep inside this uh, 20 meter area. Withers still battling away. Certainly Bradford missing the sparkle of Robbie Paul today. Stuart Fielding. And the lead supporters really making their presence felt here at, uh, at Valley Parade. I'm sure those 20 to 1 odds will decrease overnight. I would think they've already been cut down now. Yeah, definitely. I think they were 20 to 1 odds because they were playing Bradford at Bradford. But now... Bradford have gone, and all the other clubs in this competition will be very happy. James Lowe's. The Rhinos form has been very patchy in the pre-season warm-up games, but very few weaknesses today. They've invested very heavily in new talents, and they certainly look to have bought well. for the balls in the final at Murrayfield in 2000 and in two semi-finals in 96 and 97 but sweet revenge here at Valley Parade for Leeds will we get one tackle in? I don't think so the fans are counting the seconds down and I don't think Russell Smith's too bothered about starting a game he's not it's all over and the ones with their hands in the air are Leeds terrific performance to come here and beat the world champions and might well the fans acknowledge the feat Ryan Sheridan the man of the match scored a try picked up a drop goal the engineer behind everything yeah we've seen two superb games of high quality this afternoon and uh, I think Leeds is there for the best of both games defensively they were superb and the kicking game was great a lot of credit has to go to the coaching staff of, of Powell and Riley, but the players did the job. The forwards went forward, they stifled the Bradford pass, and the half pass controlled the whole affair. I think that was the key, Jonathan, stifling the Bradford pack. Once they'd done that, then these men, Walker and Sheridan, they got to work, they picked up the points. Walker with 12 points, Sheridan with 5 points. And what a win for Leeds. They really must fancy a return to Murrayfield. Ben Walker there, taking over the mantle from Yestin Harris at half-back. Now the favourite here at Headingley. And a terrific performance from these new forwards. Great win for Leeds.